It's a cutting horse saddle that was a presentation saddle for a winner in a particular class at the 1981 Amarillo Slim Preston Cutting Classic at the Sahara in Reno, Nevada. I rescued it off a fence post so it wouldn't be uh, ruined and have tried to just give it a little life back and that's about as much as I know about it. So it was pretty dried out when you it got it. It was dried it. out. It was it was abused. Saddles shouldn't be left out in the weather. They don't survive very long. And can you tell me who Amarillo Slim was? Amarillo Slim or Preston it? was the legendary poker player. He cut quite the figure. He did come up with his own cutting horse classic. Cutting is the process of separating cattle out in pens to brand them, to give them shots and take care of them, and it became a sport. The horses were raised by King Ranch, major ranchers began to do it in competition, and it became a real landmark Texas event. And they used a saddle that had a little bit wider fork on it so you could tighten your knees up because they switched back and forth real fast. The horses are really fast and really well trained. They have a real sense of, it's called cow sense, of, of moving these cattle around and keeping on one. The saddle was made in Oliver Saddlery and it's marked. The connection with Amarillo Slim puts it in a different category. All of a sudden you're talking about guys who are interested in poker, in gambling memorabilia, in rodeo history. All these different things makes it a collectible that's different from the saddle category. And what did you pay for it? $300. That's okay, you did okay. I would say if it would come onto the market in an auction situation, because of the gambling affiliation and the Amarillo Slim connection, probably $800 to $1,200 wow. if it came on the market. Wow. Pretty easily. An all-around Texas connection.